Hello everyone, welcome to County 004, the county with the river, or the county that was named after a river, the Tana River County. And this is one of the largest counties in Kenya, given that it borders counties like Isiolo, and you know Isiolo is in the northern part of Kenya. It borders Garissa, Kitui County, Kilifi, and also Lamu County. The county is located in the former coastal province and was established in 2013. And this county has an over 81% Muslim population. And the population of this area mostly is the pastoral communities. And also there is also some communities that practice farming. And this led to some violence in 2012 when there was a dispute between the pastoral and the communities that practice farming. And this ended after the government deployed GSU officers. The government decided to deploy new recruits to this area and peace was restored. Going back to Tana River County, about the river, it has the Tana River Delta. And if you were to compare Kenya and Nigeria, this would be like the Biafra state of Nigeria, where the Niger Delta is located. And there are some explorations going on that were going on. I don't know if they still go on today about looking for oil, just like in the Niger Delta. And if oil was to be discovered in the Tana Delta, then this would make it the richest county in Kenya. And I'm sure the, the lives of people would improve. But as we all know, that's not what happened in Nigeria. And one thing about the Tana River, this Tana River County, the river is more navigable because they are located on the downstream part of it. But the problem is that floods is a major problem here. As late as 2024, floods was still a problem here, even after the government had constructed the Seven Fox dams in the 80s and in the 90s still it's still a problem but the capital is called hola but the largest county the, the largest town is garsen which is the largest town and it's the most populated the people of this area use canoes and boats to navigate the river the river is navigable given that it's near the ocean and it they also lands here are fertile and the government should continue supporting the people of Tana River. Thank you for watching.